Hey, it's Chris back with another watch test. Today I am testing the G-Shock again. I am going to be doing a three hour cycle. One and a half hours in the washing machine and one and a half hours in the dryer. Both of these are front loading and I'm not putting anything else in with the G-Shock, just the G-Shock, I'm gonna toss it right in. I put some soap in the drawer, closing that up and I'm just literally gonna close it and hit play. So, I guess uh, the result here hopefully would be a really good impact test because this will be uh, just basically being dropped a couple of, maybe like a foot and a half to two feet every few seconds. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty long cycle. So you can see it's for an hour and 24 minutes. Uh, and then when it's done here, I'm going to put it right into the, you can hear that, I'm going to put it right into the dryer for an hour and a half. Okay. Only 15 minutes left. It's still going. You could hear it knocking around in there. Okay, it is ended. So I am going to grab it out, see if it's still working. And it is. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna throw it into the dryer. So I just threw it in there. So I have it set for an hour and 25 minutes. So throw that in. Okay, so we're at less than a minute. Yep, and it is done. You can see the watch in there. So an hour and a half in the dryer. It is very hot to the touch. Um, yeah, <laughs> looks like it's working fine. All right, so uh, basically three hours in the washer and dryer and absolutely nothing. A couple of scuffs, but other than that, the watch is working perfectly fine and it looks just as it went in, except cleaner and a lot hotter. Uh, yeah, so another test down. Please like, subscribe if you like this video, hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I release new videos, uh, and I really appreciate it, thanks.